You've seen Captain Alvar and Zeddy every week on the weekly video fishing forecast. Today he's going to show us a great way to get kids involved with fishing and that's going for blowfish. Okay, we're on the boat, we're going blow fishing. What do you need to go blow fishing? Well, obviously you need a couple of rods and I like the low profile style rod, low profile bait caster. Uh, you need a couple of hooks. I use small flounder hooks or little porgy hooks, probably like a size eight. And then uh, you're gonna need some weight, not much in the conditions we're fishing. You only need about an ounce, maybe two at most. And you need to have <coughs> chum, ground up clam chum. They sell it in the tackle stores in like one quart cylinders. Uh, you need a chum pot to put it in and a little line on the chum pot to drop it to the bottom. And then uh, you need clams to cut up for bait and a cutting board and a knife. And that basically covers it. That's all you need. Oh, there we go. The, the first button. keeper. Yeah. Nice. they're famous for. Sometimes they're a little bit too small and this one's gonna go back. Well anyway I've been fishing the Great South Bay, the waters around Fire Island Inlet for 40 years as a charter captain and uh, I catered to a lot of people from Fire Island who were out on vacation, of course local people as well so uh, if you're interested in doing a fishing charter with me, whether it be Fire Island, the Western Communities, I can pick you up at one of the Western Communities on Fire Island, or we can actually leave from my dock in Babylon Village. So uh, give me a shout. You can check my website, skimmeroutdoors.com. Uh, you can contact me through the website. You can email me. And uh, so if you want to do it, give me a shout. You know, sometimes one of the things about going for blowfish is you have to weed through the smaller fish to get some bigger fish. Uh, sometimes you can't even feel the bites, but also what we're doing here is we're using slightly larger hooks to weed out these uh, these small fish and just target the bigger fish that would make a, a better meal, if you will. So you want to go blowfishing, where do you go? Basically, I stick close to the shoreline in uh, shallow water. They uh, inhabit areas without too much current running. Uh, so coves, uh, shoreline is best, anywhere from 8 to 10 feet of water, even less sometimes. And basically you get set up and drop the anchor so you're stationary, you can't drift, you want to be stationary. And the chum, set your chum down, that's going to run in the current and hopefully some fish happen to be in the neighborhood, they'll follow the chum, get up to the hooks and you can catch them and have a great time. Also with blowfish a lot of times there's kingfish around as well as a bycatch. All right, well, Matt, we caught some blowfish, and that's basically all you got to do. The basics we covered today, and the last thing to do, we're going to shoot back and show you how to clean one up. Cool, that was fun, Al. Thank you. You got it. And here's the big tip. When you're ready to leave and pull your anchor, don't take off until you pull your chum pot in. It could be a disaster. This is the way I clean my blowfish. You can see, number one, you definitely want to have gloves uh, because their skin is like sandpaper. It's going to rip your hands apart. I make a cut behind the head, don't go all the way through, and then when you're turning the fish inside out, and then all you have to do is trim these little finlets off, and before I cook it I get a scissors and I cut these fins off, and then bread it and fry it.